Introduction People do not cut us. Yeah, you're right. Even we are free to roam and do what we like. No one comes to hunt for us for our skin and hairs. How is this possible? Well, we live in a sanctuary. Want to learn more about it? Just join us in this lesson. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to List the various protected areas meant for the conservation of plants and animals. Describe wildlife sanctuary, national park and biosphere reserve. Friends, a great variety of plants and animals exists on earth. They are essential for the well-being and survival of the mankind. But a major threat to survival of these organisms is deforestation. Deforestation is clearing of forests and using that land for other purposes. Some natural causes of deforestation are forest fires and severe droughts. Man-made causes of deforestation include cutting off forest trees for the purposes like procuring land for cultivation, building houses and factories, making furniture or using wood as fuel, etc. You have already studied about the deforestation and its various causes. Now let us discuss some of its consequences. Droughts Plants need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Fewer trees would mean that less carbon dioxide would be used up resulting in its increased amount in the atmosphere. This will lead to global warming as carbon dioxide traps the heat rays reflected by the earth. The increase in the temperature on the earth disturbs the water cycle and may reduce rainfall. This could cause droughts. Soil erosion. Few trees result in more soil erosion. Removal of the top layers of the soil exposes the lower hard and rocky layers. This layer of soil has less humus and is less fertile. Gradually, the fertile land gets converted into deserts. It is called desertification. Floods. Deforestation also leads to a decrease in the water holding capacity of the soil. The movement of water from the soil surface into the ground is reduced resulting in floods. Animals life gets affected. Deforestation also affects the animal life since forests serve as habitat to most of them. Loss of biodiversity. Cutting of forest means the extinction of thousands of species and varieties of plants and animals, many of which have never been catalogued scientifically. Children, you have become aware of the effects of the deforestation, so now you can understand that there is a need to conserve the forests and wildlife. Moreover, plants and animals are needed for the sustained development of the earth. Conservation of plants and animals are important for maintaining biological diversity and conservation of biological diversity is needed for survival of humans. You would be eager to know as why these areas are so important. Well, plantation, cultivation, grazing, hunting and poaching are prohibited in these areas. We will now learn about the protected areas for plants and animals. Let us begin with sanctuary. The areas where animals are protected from any disturbance to them and their habitat is called sanctuary. Thus, you can understand that the wildlife sanctuaries provide protection and suitable living conditions to wild animals. You must have visited the zoo in your city. Zoos are the places where animals receive protection. Can you differentiate between a zoo and a sanctuary? Well, in zoo animals live in artificial setting, whereas sanctuary serves as a natural habitat to the animals, which make animals more comfortable there. This is the Satpura National Park. Can you think what a national park is? Yes, the area is reserved for wildlife where they can freely use the habitats and natural resources is called a national park. It is interesting to note that this is the first reserve forest of India. It is famous for its tiger reserve. Children, 
Project Tiger was launched by the government to protect the tigers in the country. The objective of this project was to ensure the survival and maintenance of the tiger population in the country. Apart from the Satpura National Park, Corbett, Kazi Ranga, Kanha and Ranthambore are the other national parks made for the conservation of animals. Let us now look at a biosphere reserve. Large areas of protected land for conservation of wildlife, plant and animal resources and traditional life of the tribals living in the area are called biosphere reserves. These help to maintain the biodiversity and culture of an area. Do you know a biosphere reserve may also contain other protected areas in it? Yes, let me tell you an example. The Pachmari Biosphere Reserve consists of one national park named Satpura and two wildlife sanctuaries named Bori and Panchmarhi. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Deforestation is cutting of forest trees on large scale. Deforestation may lead to soil erosion floods, drought and lack in biodiversity. Wildlife Sanctuary, National Park and Biosphere Reserve are the areas meant for conservation of forest and wild animals.